Also today is the 100th anniversary of the dedication of the Lincoln Memorial, uh, which is certainly a, it's my favorite place in Washington. It's a tribute to the man who kept this union together. It's also, of course, where Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech. I like to visit it during hard times. Certainly we're in a hard time now. Tell us a little bit more about why this memorial in particular it has such resonance for the American people uh, and what we could draw from those two men, Lincoln and King, uh, associated with it during such a hard time. Yeah, there's something so spiritual about that memorial. You go in there and it says on it, enshrined in this temple, in the memory of the people is the memory of, of Abraham Lincoln. And then you see the words from the second inaugural, the words from the Gettysburg Address, and that incredible figure of him sitting there. And I think what's mattered so much, so it is 100 years ago today that it was dedicated by President Harding. Former President Taft was there because he had been involved in the design of the memorial. They couldn't have picked a better person than Daniel Chester French, who came from my hometown of Concord. It's an extraordinarily beautiful place. But more importantly, it's become a place where, as you mentioned, things have happened that have a lot to do with civil rights, a lot to do with Lincoln's legacy. That march on Washington, I am old enough that that's the first big march I ever took part in. I was there in 1963 as a college student. It was an extraordinary moment in my life when people held hands together and sang, we shall overcome, and then, of course, heard the words of Martin Luther King. And then before that, Marian Anderson denied the chance to speak at Constitution Hall because the DAR wouldn't allow her. It was a segregated institution. Came and sang so beautifully, my country tis of thee, right there at Lincoln Memorial. So it's got a live memory to Abraham Lincoln, who saved the Union, won the war, and even more importantly, had a character and a temperament that we all could, if we could bring him back today, um, bring lots of our presidents back today, I think just to give advice to President Biden, that's what I would dream of. I dream of it in my mind, so it would be grand if it could really happen in reality.